Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. In the last two Space News episodes, Walt Thornhill has reported on recent discoveries that provide stunning foundational affirmation of the Electric Universe theory. We now turn our attention to the latest science reports from the ESA's Rosetta mission to Comet 67P. The comparative predictive success of the electric comet theory versus that of the standard dirty snowball theory cannot be more striking. The electric universe states that comets are not icy fluff balls that formed billions of years ago in the solar system's infancy, as conventional theory has proposed for several decades. Rather, comets, as well as asteroids and meteoroids, were electrically excavated from planets and moons. This seemingly outrageous prediction accurately foretold the astonishing planetary features of 67P, including its towering cliffs, its rock and boulder-strewn terrain, its extraordinary topographical variety, and of course, its utterly desiccated and barren surface. The smooth, icy terrain long ago predicted by standard theory could not be more emphatically refuted. Today, we see some indications of the beginnings of the inevitable paradigm shift in comet science. A Space.com report on June 2, 2015 describes the comet as a, quote, space rock with a, quote, rocky surface. Most impressively, nowhere in the short article did the author attempt to force-fit the word ice into descriptions of the comet's desert-like terrain. A further hint can be found in the abstract of the recent paper, The Solar Wind Interaction with Comet churyumov gerasimenko Discussing data on solar wind interaction with the comet, the authors state, As the comet moves closer to the sun, these effects should increase along with possibly other new and unexpected plasma and field phenomena. The Electric Universe predicts that cometary activity is fundamentally electrical activity. The comet acquires a negative charge with respect to its environment in the outer reaches of the solar system as it approaches the inner limits of its orbit. Moving through the sun's weak electric field, it will begin to discharge to the plasma surrounding it, producing the comet's coma and tail. Comet jets are electrical discharge phenomena. They are not the result of solar warming heating invisible, theoretical subsurface ices. This interpretation of comet jets is supported by the images of Comet 67P, the filamentary jets, which are often curved and occasionally divert in opposing directions, behave nothing like gas and dust dispersed in a vacuum. Furthermore, the jets have been seen emitting even when not exposed to sunlight, hearkening back to the completely unexpected discovery of jets at Comet Vilt 2, which exploded from the dark, unheated side of the comet. Spectroscopic readings that scientists interpret as evidence for invisible, sublimating ices are the result of electrochemical processes. These extremely controversial predictions have received stunning support from the Rosetta mission. In late 2014, greatly enhanced electron fluxes and densities were found surprisingly close to the comet nucleus. And today, scientists are reporting that these electrons play a significant role in the breakup of molecules in the comet's coma. A June 4th Universe Today article on this data states, A NASA science instrument flying aboard the European Space Agency's Rosetta spacecraft has made a very surprising discovery, namely that the molecular breakup mechanism of, quote, water and carbon dioxide molecules spewing from the comet's surface into the atmosphere of Comet 67P, churyumov gerasimenko is caused by, quote, electrons close to the surface. The article also states that the comet discovery is, quote, causing scientists to completely rethink what we know about the wandering bodies. Principal investigator Alan Stern states, The discovery we're reporting is quite unexpected. However, as Wal Thornhill explains, scientists' interpretation of this data is based on the continued assumption of a, quote, icy comet. The third report comes from the Rosetta team. Comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko quote, has revealed an unexpected process at work, causing the rapid breakup of water and carbon dioxide molecules spewing from the comet's surface, end of quote. Note that it is simply assumed that water and carbon dioxide molecules are issuing from the comet. 
The appearance of energised atoms is unexpected because scientists are wedded to the idea that comets are icy leftovers from the formation of the solar system and that neutral, complete molecules of those ices are released in jets by solar heating as the comet swings nearer the sun. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun is then believed to be responsible for breaking those molecules apart at large distances from the comet. But the Rosetta team were surprised to find oxygen and carbon atoms within tens to a hundred metres of the comet's surface, much too close for solar UV to have been responsible. What's more, these atoms show evidence of having been dislodged from parent molecules by energetic electrons. The only recourse, given the conventional beliefs about comets, is to suggest that the electrons come from UV dissociation of water molecules. In November last year, greatly enhanced electron fluxes and densities were found about the comet by another Rosetta instrument, which appeared to be associated with cometary ions created near the nucleus. The problem is that solar ultraviolet radiation was thought to break down neutral molecules into charged atoms and ions over distances of hundreds or thousands of kilometres from the comet nucleus, and not smack bang up against the nucleus. In contrast, the Electric Universe model predicted long ago the presence of energetic electrons and excited atoms right down to the comet's surface. It is a cold cathode-type discharge, sputtering atoms from rock minerals on the comet's surface to form collimated cathode jets of ultrafine dust, excited atoms and electrons. Sublimating ices are not necessary. Clearly, Comet 67P looks like rock with no sign of ices. Recent reports have begun calling it a rock, or rocky. Meanwhile, the journal Nature on April 23rd expressed surprise when the dark side of the comet suddenly sprouted a jet. This too was predicted long ago by the Electric Universe model. Energetic electrons and excited atoms should be found in such dark jets in the absence of solar UV on the dark side of the comet. These three recent reports signal that a paradigm shift must happen. It will seem obvious in retrospect. All matter in the universe is electrical in nature. To have a cosmology that ignores electricity and relies on the force of gravity, which is 39 orders of magnitude weaker than the electric force, that's as close to zero as you can practically get, will seem incredible in future. The Electric Universe Conference later this month is unique in its broad interdisciplinary scope, which is another pointer to its future success. Be there. It's a chance to see history in the making. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.